According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. 
Bruce agreed to work for UCC Steph. And together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers who protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members, and yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs, from engines to shields to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. Can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again 
for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Take To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. At Bethesda Game Studios, we love to create experiences that, through art and technology, transport you. We've brought that to many worlds, but never to what's above us. When we look to the sky, we wonder if we're alone, what's out there, what our future holds. In some ways, since every element in each of us is from the stars, we want to return. Starfield is our first new universe in over 25 years. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it's only now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the experience to push our creative boundaries even further. In it, 
we invite you to join Constellation, the last group of space explorers. It's a next generation role playing game where you'll be who you want, go where you want, experience our stories, and forge your own. More than that, Starfield's about hope, our shared humanity, and searching for the answers to life's greatest mystery. We have a lot to share. For the first time, we'll provide an inside look at the inspiration and process behind Starfield. We hope you'll join Constellation and go with us on the journey as we craft our next epic. Hi, I'm Emil Pagliarulu, Design Director of Bethesda Game Studios. What you're looking at here is the spaceport of the city of New Atlantis, the capital city of the United Colonies, or UC, the most powerful established military and political faction in the game. The city is a true melting pot, and its residents come from every race, creed, and ethnicity. In a lot of ways, New Atlantis is a true reflection of the future of our world. What you're looking at here is the pleasure city of Neon. The Xenofresh Corporation built a giant fishing platform on a rather nondescript aquatic world. They wanted to catch fish until they discovered a fish with psychotropic properties. They could make way more money selling a drug than they could fish. That drug is Aurora and is legal only on Neon. People come from all over to experience it and everything else Neon has to offer. Behold Aquila City, the capital of the Free Star Collective, a loose confederation of three distinct star systems. The city itself is home to a variety of people, but they all have one thing in common. They believe in the sanctity of personal freedom and individuality. The Kila City is walled for a reason, and stepping outside those walls means facing the deadly Ashta, alien predators that are a cross between a wolf and a velociraptor. Hi, I'm Emil Pagliarulo, Design Director of Bethesda Game Studios. We're very excited to offer you this exclusive look at Starfield and the exciting universe we've created which is an area of our solar system we call the Settled Systems. Our game is set in the year 2330, in a relatively small pocket of the Milky Way, in an area that extends outward from our solar system for approximately 50 light years. Around 20 years before the start of the game, the two largest factions in the Settled Systems, the United Colonies and Free Star Collective, engaged in the Bloody Colony War. Today, the major factions enjoy an uneasy peace, but the settled system is still pretty dangerous. There are plenty of human threats out there, like ecliptic mercenaries, pirates of the Crimson Fleet, violent spacers, or even the fanatical religious zealots of House Varun. The organization known as Constellation is committed to uncovering the mysteries of the galaxy, and as one of its newest members, you'll explore the deepest reaches of the settled systems, and you'll find yourself at home in the Starfield.